Welcome back to the Delmarva Sports Insider. Although football just wrapped up its regular season, some of our other sports got their postseasons underway to start this week. The first declaration of the new season celebrated on Tuesday. Two of the best soccer programs in the entire state, Indian River and Milford, battled for the Henlopen Conference Championship. These teams matched up about four weeks ago with Milford coming out on top. Like the first matchup, Indian River drawing first blood. Willem Lambertson getting behind the defense and scoring. The Bucks haven't trailed much this year, but they did trail in that first matchup against the Indians. So familiar territory. Three minutes later on the direct kick, Emmanuel Carranza gonna bury the deflection. Two goals in a span of four minutes after a scoreless game, and we're tied at one at the half. Second half, the long ball here gonna be misplayed by the Indian River defender. Milford gonna Ooh. make him pay. One of my favorite players to watch is Sam Dominguez, and there you see it. A little touch would give them the second half lead. Later on in the fourth, off a of deflection, check out the hustle by Aaron Siley. He's gonna get a foot on it, a toe on it, just to get it into the net. Time to party, Milford. The Buccaneers are your head open boys soccer champions for the first time since 1989, which was also a good year, with a three to one win. Dude, I don't even know what to say, man, but we've been, we haven't done this in, in what, 30, 30 years, 1989, I think is the last time we did this, and, and that's just a great feeling. Coach was talking to us about before the game, he said every coach has ever coached for us has wanted this, and we're the first ones to do it, so. I don't know, it's just it's just a hell of a feeling to be able to do this, that's all. We got a uh, middle town on Saturday, so we're just gonna approach them the same way we approach this team. That's all we gotta do, just gotta keep doing what we're doing, we're not gonna switch up anything. So let's take a look at how the DIAA brackets for boys soccer shake out. In Division One, opening round beginning tomorrow, Apo the top seed, 12-0. They'll host Smyrna. CR gonna host St. G's, Kate going to Silesianum, and Milford will host Middletown in D2. First round began earlier this week. Delmar fell in round one. Indian River, Sussex Academy, both hosting games tomorrow afternoon. All right, let's move on. Division one field hockey got underway yesterday, including Dover hosting Apo, the 4-5 matchup in round one. Dover gets on the board early. Superia Clark passes into the circle, Superior. and Allison Arthur finishes there to open up the scoring in the first quarter. Then the second, Senators continue to charge. Cross in front of the cage finds Chelsea Johnson and she would knock that one in. And then this is where the floodgates really open up. Just 30 seconds later, Clark getting her own rebound, Thank and she you. finishes. Senators feeling good right about now. They led by three. Second half, though, Jags threatening off of the corner. Pass is going to go inside to Alani Lawrence, and Lawrence gets the Jaguars on the board. That gave them some momentum, but that momentum came to a grinding halt. Excuse me. Clark stepping in front of that I'll pass. That. And on the other end, she gets it in front of the cage and scores her third, a hat trick for the junior as Dover All knocks hustle. out Apo with a 6-2 to two win. Me, Chelsea, Elena, all three of us, and um, Allison, we're just a really good like group to like get goals in. We're all really offensively driven, I guess I would say. So yeah, um, it was a fun game for me. Um, it was fun scoring the goals, getting the assists, passing the balls to my teammates. It's just, I just had fun, really. And here's where we stand in Division One. All four teams remaining are local squad semis are on Tuesday. Cape and Dover. It's a rematch, folks. Hey. The Vikings just beat Dover 5-0. They want Cape One again. again. And Polytech and Sussex Tech play in Georgetown. Both games at 2 p.m. Meanwhile, in Division Two, Delmar's first test is against Lake Forest. We'll be at that game tomorrow at 2. And the sixth seed, Indian River, dropped Ursuline. They face the Archmere Hawks tomorrow up in Claymont. Yes, Trey, yeah. they do want Kate. They, they want they, Kate. They said they do. We'll see. How about volleyball? It started out well, Brandon, for our teams. Eight of the 16 teams were from the Henlopen. Since then, five have, have already lost, including yeah. Smyrna tonight, who won the conference. The right. only teams remaining are Caesar Rodney, Cape Henlopen, and Indian River. All three of those teams host games tomorrow afternoon. So volleyball honestly just does not look good, but we are guaranteed a champion in Division One with field hockey with all four teams remaining. Also, almost guaranteed a champion in D2 with <laughs> Delmar just still being around. I'm really wondering who's going to pull through in soccer, though. Yeah, exactly. I want to shout out uh, the Henlopen field hockey teams as well. All four Division One teams uh, are from the from the Henlopen. That's a remarkable yeah. achievement. 
And it's really a testament to the talent in this area, Absolutely. along with Del Mar being from this area and being one of the top teams in the nation. And as for soccer, Indian River has a strong chance, I think, of bringing home their third D2 soccer title this season. I love the talent on this team. They have 12 seniors on this squad. Another kid, Jordan Iliad, who is really, really good as a sophomore. And then Milford, we got to shout them out. Yeah, Congratulations. 31 year streak is snapped. The Milford Bucks Henlopen champions. That's great to see. Yeah, you heard Kirk Hammer. He says we're not going to change anything up that we've done this year just because we come in contact with these teams from upstate. We're not going to do anything different. We're going to play our game that got, got them to 12 0 and 1. And uh, hopefully it works out for them tomorrow against Middletown. And you know what? That's precisely the mindset you have to take when you go into a game against either Apo or yeah. Salesianum, two teams that have been perennial contenders for the championship in Division One soccer. I mean, you're going up against Sally's potentially, 10-time defending state champions. You have to have the mindset that, hey, we can beat these play. guys. Yeah. I don't care what happened in 2011. I agree. Well, when we come back, it was a race against time at BWI Airport, how police managed to save a flight to Puerto Rico from exposure to COVID-19. My name is Jody Holliman from Delmar Field Hockey, and you are watching Delmarva Sports Insider.